Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Sally with Vintage Discoveries with more of my vintage bag hauls. Um, just an update. Uh, last video, I had only saw one of these earrings and I found the other one. So I'm pretty happy because they have really nice green stones. I tried a different camera angle and I don't think it's working. It just seems odd. Sorry while I move this. Okay. And also I had this gold stone necklace. And turns out that it was 12 carat. And now I found this. It's plastic moon glow choker. I love that gray black color. I thought it was broken because it was actually open and I thought it was missing something but it just goes in here so I was happy about that and I had to detangle some stuff before I started filming there was this really long necklace like at least 30 inches maybe more and this is at the end of it I don't know who made it but it's nice very super long chain and thin so you can imagine it was pretty tangled then there was this necklace it has some red stones embedded in it buffy heart cute my maker and this necklace it has an old chain. I don't know if it belongs on there, but it's nice. And there was this from Avon. And this. And I believe this was also Avon. Got a lot of Avon. This isn't marked with anything gold or silver. It's got a kind of a beat up chain. I'm not sure if that's a real pearl. But it seems like it's vintage. And this pin. Very nice. And I had Thought I had it all untangled. We have a bunch of stuff. This is a rose, um, you know, what do you call those things? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, let's see. Didn't have a name on it. It's very heavy. I don't know if that's glass. It doesn't seem like it's plastic. Um, but it has a nice design on it. Pretty. And very heavy. A locket. Yeah, there you go. Sheesh. And this, I don't know if this is vintage really. It seems more modern to me. This little seed bead stuck in his thing there. That'll come out. I think this is newer. I have one of these earrings. I have the other one in the bag and they seem to be kind of falling apart. I think the other one has the back missing. It's kind of a classic pearl button earring. This is really sweet. Maybe the back. Uh, choker with some moon glow um, tulips. Cute, right? Very springy. Didn't have a name on it. This is the clasp, though. Isn't that cute? And there was these. Kind of like clo cloisonne with a stone. I think they're hollow. 
Nope. They're just raised. That's cool. Oh, here's the other earring. I think this belongs to this. They're pretty beat up. And we have this earring. It has the glass bead sewn to it. And I think that says Hong Kong. Yes. I like the colors on that one. This is an adjustable bracelet uh, ring. It doesn't have any markings on it. A nice round pin. Made very well. Very classic. Goes with everything. And these earrings that are falling apart, apparently. This is the matching one. I like the colors. This is a newer necklace. I'm saying that because of the, the clasp. This is really pretty. See the blue stones? Little speckled eggs. Whoop, 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 whoop. Silver. No markings. But I like the way it's done. It's pretty. And we have this. I looked at this and then took a second look and I was convinced that there was no missing stones. But I guess I got blinded by the sparkle because there's a missing one somewhere. Now I lost it. Oh, right here. You don't, you, you're not able to tell um, because of the way they're set, but that is the only missing one. And this is big. Super nice. I think this had a name. Um, what does that say? Oh, even the metal is shiny. Come on. Does that say BSK? And I, like I said, I looked at this a few times. That's the first time I ever saw the name back there. <laughs> Oopsie. I looked at I, I do look at my stuff several times over, especially if I'm going to sell it, you know, for imperfections and so on. And this, I just thought that was super cool. Doesn't have a name, for sure. It's a choker, and it has this little um, kind of like what you would call that, but little red stones. And it's woven. It's kind of, it's lightweight. Um, let's see. I think one of them was, yeah, this one has like a discoloration. It could probably just be cleaned off, but cool, right? I love that. Then we have this pendant with more modern, the ones that you pick the pearl and put it inside there. This is a little bracelet and it's from Weiss. Cool. This is really pretty pin with the dark red stones. There's no name on this, but I guess you would wear it like that. Oh, you could wear it like that too. Pretty. These are like ceramic or something, or but it looks like somebody made handmade these. And this one is broke, unfortunately. Got this little pin with a missing stone. There's Sarah Coventry and some pearls. You can see they're beat up. So 
some of the colors missing. That's what bugs me about them, you know. And it's okay if I see it right away, I'm happy. But if I examine them and I don't see anything, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, shoot. But it happens. What are you going to do? They can't all be real, you know. This is beat up, too. Shame. Nice clasp. And we have... This is really pretty. It's got some nice uh, stones in it. Raised up high. No name. Really pretty heart. I love that. I have this big gold pin. Brush gold. Something stuck on it. And I think this was Jafar. Yep. This is a broken necklace. Probably an easy fix. It just came undone. I don't think it's vintage. That's nice. These, I found a bunch of different ones. Is it a button? What is it? Do you know? Is it a button? Is there... Did you take this apart somehow? I had to find out. It's the first time I saw a little cross on there, but I don't know what that is. So, earring. I don't think I have the other one to that. Pearl chain necklace. I found quite a few of these. Stretchy bracelet. And for some reason it's heavy. Maybe it's just made of metal. Little thingies. This is the other earring. And I think this was in another bag. The match to that. This is... Oh, oh, this is a chain. Oh my goodness. I think it says Avon. When, it, when it's upside down, like, it just looks like something else. Wow. My, um, this is usually good at focusing. There it goes. Sorry. <laughs> How aggravating for you. Okay. And the bottom of this. Don't need that up close. Looks like this. I think this is pretty cute. Sweet, right? I'd wear that. And then this chain. Very lightweight. A bunch of loose beads. There's also this in the bag. It's more um, updated. This is the clasp. Has some freshwater pearls, I believe. I don't know if they're real or just made to look like that because it has all the ridges. It's heavy. It's got some nice glass beads to it. So, I mean, it's nice. Okay. Then we have this stuff. I do believe this is a candy kiss. It says rhodium electroplated kinney. I don't know if this is originally what should have been in the box, but it seems to be in there for a while. It's got the indentation. This part, I don't know if it's it's like a weapon. Or it's broke because it's sharp as heck. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, pearls. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. This, I don't know what's belonging to what. Oh, okay. 
I think this might be broken. They feel like glass. They're kind of heavy. So, yeah, it's broken. They're nice beads. Put that to the side. Here's some pearls. Got some of my name on there. Where's my hand at? Did you see your name? Probably says Hong Kong and I'm going blind trying to see it. It's amazing to me, you know, that I usually have a, an easy time reading things upside down. And you're probably looking at this saying, uh, you know what it is. But I'm going to have to take a closer look because it just isn't coming clear for me. Turn on my little light. I could stare at the, the green beads for a second. It's driving me crazy. I think it says Japan, actually. Yes, yeah. That's what it looks like. I think it says Japan. And it's just um, a couple tiers of these pearls, I don't think that they're fresh water even, you know, but it looks like they're kind of broken. Some of them were kind of yellow, some of them were white. I don't know if that was intentional. Oh, maybe the pink doesn't belong on there. Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh. I guess the pink were separate. And this is just these yellowish and white. Reminds me of popcorn. Yeah. Just plastic beads. Same with this. Just pink plastic beads. Here's a green one. Pretty colors, green and gold. This actually has some other stones in it. This is, let's see if we can see this better. Yeah, Japan. It's most of Japan. Most of these, I am finding when they look like this, they're all pretty much Japanese. They always remind me of the Mardi Gras beads, though. They're nice. I probably put them in a lot. Oh, this is a lightweight plastic beads with um, a tassel kind of tassel -y thing at the bottom lightweight plastic I don't see a clasp so I guess you just put it over your head it's those interlocking ones that we used to use as a kid to make Christmas decorations. I put that together in a lot. Oh, this is one of those clips. Oh, this is a big pin. It doesn't win the award for big pins, but it's still very big. Nice. Now, initially looking, I don't see any missing stones. Don't see a name. It's in nice shape. 
Very pretty. Kind of reminds me the way that the flowers are. Like lilacs a little bit. Pretty. Nice. Oops. Ooh. I love that. I love cabochons mixed with the stones. I hope it doesn't have any missing stones. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Doesn't look like it. But this is pretty. Can you see the red? Oh, I put the light on it. Uh, see if I can shine some light on it. See the color better. Pretty, right? I think my light is not as bright as it used to be. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, maybe that's it. It's hard to see, but they're really pretty red. I'm not a big red person, but if it's if it's a nice red, I like it. This is the clasp. There's no name. Oh, that's so pretty, though. Constructed really, really nicely. See, it doesn't have to have a name on it to be really cool. That's really pretty. And get that light out of here. And pearls. Pretty color. They look kind of like uneven. Nice clasp. Oh, it says on there, I think. Hold on. It says Japan. It has Japan at the top of that. They're a pretty color. Is this broke? That would be perfect. Oy. I think that's supposed to be longer, the thing that goes in there. Or it could be just a different kind of clasp. Oh, it's broken. Figures. Well, let me see. They don't feel real. No, they're not even tied in between. If they're not real, they're pretty good. Oh, look. Yep. I think the stuff is coming off, but pretty good fake. And then we have this pin. Is that a pin? Broken. No. How is that supposed to go? If you were to clip it on to yourself and this would dangle down? I don't know, but those are pretty green stones. Oh, that's different. We can go that way. Pretty green stones. Oh, another rose. I wish I had a dollar for every rose I found. I found quite a bit, but this is pretty. It's got the little stones. Nice work. I mean, they're all pretty, but I just I find so much in the same kind of, you know, style. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Those are so cool. I don't know if they're Christmas or if they're uh, free hair. Easter or if it was it's like New Year's, what do you think? Those are really cool. Really pretty stones too. I like those. This is 
plastic necklace. Some pretty colors. We got this big earring. It's got no name. And I guess this would go on your ear like that. I guess it would be like that. Or just some or like a cluster. Plastic. An earring. That's pretty. Wow. I like the different the combination of the different, you know, the um the lucite or whatever that is and the pearls and the little stone. Oh, I hope the other one is in there. I might come across it in another bag, you never know. Got an owl. These hook earrings. Pain in the tush. Ooh. A foe, I would have to say. Um, turquoise. No name on him. There's no clasp, is there? Yes. Right here. Just a fashionable owl. Cool. Oh, Christmas. I haven't found Christmas stuff in a while. Is it cute? Doesn't jingle jangle, but it, it's cute. And, ooh, what the heck? We have this. That stone's not missing, it's just really dark. Doesn't look like there's anything missing. It's just darkened. I guess something got in it or on it. Hmm. But what? What does this clip to? This isn't a shoe thing, is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's cool though. Okay. It's um. A watch. Supreme Quartz. That reminds me of the 60s, maybe? Interesting. Hmm. Then we have this. This is really heavy. Glass beads. see anything written on it. Wow. Really heavy. Cool. That looks old. I guess they're brass in the middle because it's turning green. Don't know what that reminds me of. Hmm. And a silver necklace. Silver tone, I should say. Yeah. I guess I could put something on there. It's kind of flat, though. I don't know if you would wear um, any kind of pendant on there. This has a cool chain. I like when it has the sections. Why does it seem so short? I guess it's a choker. It has that multifaceted stone. That's pretty cool. It has a name with the hang tag. Not on that side. Sarah Cove. I guess it's a black stone. I can't really see through it. But then we have 
these A B stones. Looks like it's only on one side. I guess it's supposed to be that way. One side is kind of plain, the other side has the AB. These are nice. Hmm. Cute. So let's see. There was also some that I untangled. I put on here a couple of chains. There was this one. Cute, right? This did not have a name on it. There was, oh, there wasn't another one of these earrings. Shoot. And I tangled it in. <laughs> what did I do this? Oh, uh, okay. That's to the side. This is cute. This is Avon. And they probably came out with, like, birthstone um, necklaces. And this one has the Peridot. I believe that it's hooking on to everything as I'm talking. <laughs> Anyways, that was cute. Oh, these earrings. This is what I untangled. More modern type earrings. Dangly ones. No name. Then there was this pearl one with the little sections. And. This colorful bead one. I don't think these are natural stones, but they're just kind of ombre. Cute little necklace. And the last one was this multi-chain necklace. Very nice. This is the clasp. No name, but it was very shiny. And really pretty. Definitely something you can wear every day. I really liked it. But I think that's all for today. Um, probably have to start shoveling some snow. But I also want to list some things on my eBay because I don't have that much and I'm doing a lot of um, showing but I need to do a lot of listing. Um, so hopefully I can get some of that done. I really want to get this stuff on there. Uh, I know I've had some inquiries of different items and I'd really like to um, be able to get them to you. So hopefully I'll be doing that very soon. I thank you for all subscribing and watching and commenting and liking. I really appreciate it and I'll try to keep the videos coming. And um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.